During the 19th century BC, ancient Egypt was experiencing a time of great prosperity and stability under the rule of the 12th dynasty. This stability was threatened when the reigning pharaoh Amenemhat IV died without a male heir. In response, Egyptian elites made the unprecedented decision to elevate a woman by the name of Sobekneferu to the role of pharaoh. The crown was traditionally given to a man because they were perceived as the earthly manifestation of the male god, Horus. Sobekneferu's rise to power broke this thousand-year tradition, becoming the first female pharaoh and one of about a dozen women to ever rule Egypt. Amenemhat III brought Egypt to the greatest heights it would ever reach during the Middle Kingdom period. After a lengthy rule spanning over 40 years, Amenemhat III died and was succeeded by his only living son, Amenemhat IV, who ultimately ruled for only nine years before dying without an heir, leaving his sister, Sobek Neferu, with the strongest claim to the throne. According to the king list compiled by the 3rd century BC Egyptian priest and historian Manitho, Sobek Neferu was not only Amenemhat IV's sister, but his wife as well. Incestuous marriages were common among ancient Egyptian royals in order to keep power and wealth within the family and away from ambitious rival families. The devastating consequences of incestuous unions left offspring with shorter than average lifespans. This meant that the kingdom frequently underwent periods of instability as power was transferred from one ruler to the next. Much of what we know about Sobek Neferu comes from the limited monuments and artifacts that have been discovered, which include statues, scarabs, seals, beads, and other records. This glazed cylinder seal and stetite scarab inscribed with Sobek Neferu's name provide evidence of her rule. Sobek Neferu is also mentioned in both the Karnak King List and the Saqqara Tablet. However, her name was notably absent from the Abydos King List, along with every other female pharaoh, including Hatshepsut, who is widely regarded as the most powerful and successful female pharaoh in all of ancient Egyptian history. The name Sobek Neferu translates to the beauty of Sobek. This was the first instance of a pharaoh choosing a regnal name associated with the ancient Egyptian crocodile god, Sobek. The deity was viewed as the creator of the Nile River and associated with pharaonic power and military prowess. Sobek was also known as the Lord of the Waters and believed to have the power to provide inundation and fertility to the land. The crocodile, God, grew to great prominence during the Middle Kingdom period and was the central deity of several cults at the time. Sobek Neferu adopted the complete royal titulary traditionally reserved for pharaohs, which consisted of five names, symbolizing both worldly power and spiritual might. This is significant because while other women before Sobek Neferu are believed to have held positions of power, such as Queen Regent, none were previously granted the full royal titles that effectively made Sobek Neferu a fully-fledged pharaoh in her own right. Sobek Neferu used male titles such as Son of Ra and wore male garments but still chose to retain her femininity in artistic representations. An example of this can be observed on this damaged statue of Sobek Neferu, which shows her wearing a male kilt on top of a female dress. Although her head is missing from this particular statue, Sobek Neferu was known to wear the male headdress as well. There is no evidence to suggest that she attempted to conceal her gender, but likely donned the male pharaoh attire out of respect for tradition. This choice also undoubtedly helped to placate the many critics she likely had at the time. Egyptologists have argued that Sobek Neferu faced intense scrutiny and opposition from Egyptians, who believed that the allowance of a female pharaoh upset the patriarchal system that had long featured a dominant male leader. 
they likely regarded a female ruler as an offense to Mahat, the ancient Egyptian goddess of balance, order, and morality. Egyptologists have theorized that women were elevated to the throne to maintain social order during times of crises, but that it was only ever intended to be a temporary measure while a male leader was carefully selected. Egyptian society was generally oppressive toward women, and the reigns of female rulers were often erased from records by their male successors. By most accounts, though, Sobekneferu succeeded in her endeavors and was considered to be a strong, effective ruler. In her time as pharaoh, Sobekneferu was tasked with strengthening foreign relations while simultaneously protecting Egypt from its enemies and natural disasters. Sobekneferu made significant contributions to her father's mortuary pyramid at Hawara, located near the Fayum Oasis.